Hello. My name's Sal. Welcome to Yang Inbounds. What Inbounds is, is that you don't go out of bounds and it's a better version of no skips. That's essentially uh, what I think of it as. You'll notice that I only have one chapter unlocked because I usually use that as demonstration purposes and I also like to use it as a way to make sure that my runs are valid because you are able to leave the level early in order to uh, load into the next one. But sometimes you can leave too early and the next level won't be unlocked. So that's why I like to do it like that. Uh, right at the beginning, you saw that I jumped over that barrier. Uh, that's just a quick little skip to pass that first fight. That's really the only uh, skip that we're going to have. All these are creeps. They, ha they have relatively uh, low health. Right there's an alpha creep. It's a stronger version of the creep. has a bit more de uh, defense. I also forgot to mention that we have two different forms of bunny hopping. Oh, right here. Here's the Beowulf. We uh, quickly dispose of that. The fastest way to dispose of Beowulfs is when they're all grouped together and use a super quick like that. But we have uh, two versions of bee hopping. We have the one where I use the uh, heavy. Uh, I should also mention the way that we uh, do bee hopping is we jump, dash, attack, and then cancel. And if we do that uh, good enough, then we're able to go super fast. And the other version is uh, jump dash light attack, uh, then cancel. That's usually used when I'm inside of a fight. Right here, I'm going to do a death abuse so I can do a checkpoint skip so I can be further along in the next level. So I can skip a couple fights and a cutscene. So, I don't have to worry about that. I'll, I also uh, have a skill point available, as you see where it says new skill in the top right corner. There's a, an ability where if your ore is depleted, you can uh, take more hits. I'm not going to equip that until after Chapter 5, because I want to uh, do another death abuse on Chapter 5. And then, you know, just the uh, out, uh, just the normal creeps. So I just do the usual light, light, uh, heavy attack, and that will be able to dispose of them pretty quickly. Uh, if you cancel out of the attack too early, then the creep won't die. Uh, I believe that was showed earlier uh, in these waves, so I used a super quick instead to quickly get rid of it. And then these waves are pretty consistent. It's going to be two more waves. So, or it's going to be this one wave, and then one more wave of four Beowulfs. I didn't uh, get that Beowulf uh, in the super quick, so unfortunately I had to uh, take him out the normal way, or a different way, I should say. And then right here, I'm just waiting for the alpha creep to spawn because for some reason it takes forever for this alpha creep to spawn. I don't know why. Hold on just a little longer. We're almost I honestly don't know why. Uh, so right here there's going to be three uh, groups of uh, Beowulfs and then there's going to be one alpha Beowulf. And the way that we do that is we do uh, three light attacks and then uh, another attack he'll retaliate and then we counter him so then uh, we can get an easy peasy kill that uh, alpha bay wolf was a little bit different uh, on the way that we killed him because he was at the end of the mission and we also uh, had ultimate left over so I we could uh, take him out a little bit quicker you saw that I went I backtracked a little bit um, when I uh, finished the mission instead of leaving out or leaving the mission uh, that's because this is a checkpoint skip I got a really lucky side 
so I was able to skip over that fight and save some time. And right here I'm just machine gunning Yang's uh, range attack so I can do something while I wait for dialogue to uh, get over. These first, uh, I believe, three waves are pretty similar. Uh, they all uh, they all start off with creeps. After that, sometimes it changes. So that one was just all creeps. Uh, I believe this one, it starts off with creeps and then it ends with uh, some Beowulfs. So just the normal light, light, uh, heavy. As I said, if you cancel it out uh, too early, then the creep is going to survive. Okay, so this one is a little bit different pattern. It's, it starts off with some Beowulfs and it ends with uh, two alpha creeps. The next wave it's going to start off with uh, two Borbitas. I'm going to do uh, three light attacks and then a heavy and then a standing charge heavy. Uh, if the Borbitas is nice then uh, it will counter right away like that. So I can instantly go into a, a charge heavy and kill it. And then right over here there are more uh, enemies that I'm pretty familiar with. I didn't uh, kill that uh, alpha creep unfortunately, but I just used a super quick instead to get rid of it. Here I accidentally chose the wrong character, but that's fine. Also, I believe I forgot to mention with uh, doing the uh, Yang's heavy b-hop, uh, the jump dash triangle, um, sometimes you can get launched forward super far and really fast. Uh, if you're able to catch it, that's what happened at the beginning of this level. And there isn't really a good way to control it, unfortunately. It just kind of happens whenever it wants. My theory is, is that it happens on a downward surface. Because that it seems like that's the only time I've been able to get it. Or when there's downward momentum or something. Not 100% sure. It's really difficult to uh, get, but once you get it, you fling so far. Next, we're going through this waterway system. Usually, we'd have to uh, open that, that door, so then uh, we have to sit through five waves of Garbo but we just skip over that. Unfortunately, I got the bad path, which is this left path. If we were to take the right path, then we'd be able to skip the fight, but it's not so bad this way because uh, it's just Beowulfs, and Beowulfs are not that difficult to uh, deal with, so that's good. Uh, I tried to get rid of that Beowulf before the other Beowulfs uh, came by and spawned, but unfortunately, that didn't really work out. So this is going to be the last uh, set of Beowulfs and there's going to be an Alpha Beowulf. We're just going to use the uh, same combo that we always use for the uh, Alpha Beowulf. And then we just B-hop our way towards the last section of the level. You'll notice that when I go on an uphill surface, I try to use the uh, light attacks when I B-hop because using the heavies are really not that good for going up hills. And then this wave, it's just gonna be a whole bunch of creeps and then two Beowulfs. Then the uh, next set of enemies is gonna be five Beowulfs. And I'm just gonna damage abuse here so I can get ultimate back. I don't think I mentioned that Yang has an ability that when your ore is depleted, you're able to get back all your ultimate. Uh, we abuse that as much as possible. We can't do it all the time because there is a there is a 30 second cooldown. And honestly, that ability for Yang is pretty broken. We uh we abuse it quite a bit. And right here is a uh, Alpha Ursa. I would say that this is really the mini boss, really the only mini boss 
of the game. There isn't really any other enemy that's as difficult as the Alpha Ursa. Uh, by itself, I should say. It's also uh, pretty random for its attacks. Uh, we we want to wait for when it does its ground pound moves because that's really the only time when it's vulnerable to any sort of damage. So as soon as I beat the Alpha Ursa, load it into the next level, and we are making our way towards uh, the next area where there's going to be a forced fight that we're going to have to take care of. There's going to be an enemy just right over here where I'm going to take out because uh, for some reason the game decided to have that enemy part of these groups for whatever reason. I don't know why. So right here it's just Ur uh, not Ursa's, uh, Beowulf's. Which is really nice. Sometimes uh, there'll be an Ursa that spawns at the end of those set of Beowulf's, but luckily it was just two sets of Beowulf's, so we can continue just fine. So right here, uh, it's another force fight. So because it's a uh, Alpha Beowulf, I know that it's going to be an Ursa next. And this is the slower version of... There's two different ways that this can go. There, it could either start off with four Beowulf's, that's going to be the faster version, or the one where it starts off with the Alpha Beowulf and an Ursa. If it starts off with the Alpha Beowulf and Ursa, then I know it's the uh, slower version because it spawns all these creeps and for some reason creeps don't like to spawn that quickly. So we just have to uh, kind of deal with it. So that uh, alpha creep was far enough away, or the alpha creep that was further away from Yang. Uh, it was uh, still close enough to be in Yang's super quick uh, area, so we just do two super quicks to uh, get rid of them. Next, I just go over here to activate uh, the bomb or the gate where the bomb is, so then I can uh, get the crystals. I pick up the uh, artifact because why not? There's really much point to it other than just grabbing it. And then here I grab the dust and then uh, go back immediately to put it into the cart because then I get the quick dust spawn. Uh, I don't like when the dust spawns close to the gates, uh, so I do away or I do something so uh, I don't have to wait so long. I go I go to uh, the fence and back to that dust crystal, so I don't put it in too early. If you, if you put it in too early, then uh, the dust spawns four times in this section, and it really messes up the strat. I should also mention that. Uh, uh, the dust uh, spawns in one of each locations uh, in this first area, so because it spawned in the first spot and the uh, third spot, I know it's going to be in the second spot, so I just have to wait. The next section, there's, I believe, four spots, and it's pretty difficult to uh, predict which spot it's going to be in, so we just kind of wait in the middle uh, once I'm in the second section. And then I just break crates, because why not? There isn't really a good or bad spot for these dust to spawn because we're in the middle and it's not that, uh, they're, they're both pretty much equal distance, uh, from the bomb. So right here. Uh, we're not going to put this dust crystal in right away. We're actually going to wait a little bit. So, I just, the way that I do this is I get into the front of the cart and the camera's auto zooming in for some reason. Don't know why, but I wait till this third crate uh, and then put the crystal in. I was using the crates uh, in front of Yang as a way of measuring when I should put the crystal in. And that's a pretty consistent way. For me at least. Some people do it slightly different. And 
Then right here I just damage myself on purpose because why not. And then I get my menu ready so I can leave early because as soon as the cutscene starts, then you're able to leave. Uh, once that cutscene is happening, you are not able to open up any menu, so we get it ready beforehand. And Yang says that we have to find a key, but keys are difficult, so we jump over that gate and we make our way up over into this next section over here. So right here, just four bay wolves spawn, so it's going to be another four bay wolves. And luckily, it was just uh, those two waves of Beowulfs. Sometimes an Ursa or a Alpha Beowulf will spawn at the end for some reason. So that was pretty nice. Next, more Beowulf spawn. In the beginning, this was looking uh, pretty promising because when uh, three waves of or three groups of Beowulf spawn. And then it's usually two alpha creeps that will spawn right away and then that'll be the end but unfortunately um the game thought hey you're going too fast let's uh let, let's change that so uh ha had to uh wait for that uh enemy to spawn for some reason you know it will take a long time for enemies to spawn so uh, uh, th this is the uh, last enemy of that section, and I am able to move forward. Uh, I accidentally uh, ran into that uh, alpha, or not alpha, the mutated creep. But it's not really too difficult to uh, deal with, honestly. Just get rid of it real quick. And I, I was a little bit too far away from uh, that Beowulf, so it was not part of the... Uh, Super quick. And then we just quickly dispose of this Alpha Beowulf and then we get on our merry way. Yeah, so we make up our way up this hill. And then we get, uh, ready for these waves that happen. The first uh, wave is usually the same, where it starts off with uh, four Beowulfs and then ends off with some creeps. Uh, after that, it can get pretty random. So right here, uh, I see that it's five, just five enemies, so I know it's gonna be the four Beowulfs and then the Alpha Creep, or Alpha Beowulf. Sometimes the uh, Beowulf spawns really close to you, sometimes it spawns as far away as possible. So I had to go hunt down that Alpha Beowulf real quick. Then right here, uh, it's the creeps. So I just had to individually fight these creeps unfortunately. Which is a little bit slow, but it's whatever. So this wave, uh, it's going to be the two uh, groups of Beowulfs and then one Alpha Beowulf. I accidentally messed up the combo, but it doesn't really matter too much. I use my uh, quick there because we got we got to do a death abuse anyways on this mutated Beowulf. Yang says that it's really tough. Apparently it is because we died on it. But that's just a death abuse. Uh, for some reason, uh, the waves consider this as its like own separate enemy from all the uh, four other waves. So we can just take care of uh, the Beowulf, a uh, mutate Beowulf, uh, pretty quickly. Do a damage abuse to get back ultimate. Then I backtrack a little bit uh, so I can uh, get uh, get a checkpoint skip. I messed up the. Uh, set of moves that I had to do to get over that, but it didn't really matter too much because it gives us plenty of time to get back. I also left the menu open and uh, uh, got an ability. 
I left the menu open because it's really easy to have an audio bug in this game. Uh, because if you're still in your menu and you load into the next uh, section of the game, then the game still thinks that you're in a menu. So all the audio is really muffled. But luckily this is a very short uh, chapter. It's just this uh, uh, section of enemies that we need to defeat. So right here it's just uh, two Beowulfs and then two Alpha Creeps. When it gets later into the run, it gets a bit harder to predict what kind of enemies are going to uh, spawn with each wave. So I thought there was going to be a uh, two. <coughs> I thought there was going to be a uh, two uh, Alpha Creep skin, or not Alpha Creeps, Mutate Creeps, but instead it was the Alpha Creeps. So right here, it's the two Alpha Creeps, or. I keep mixing those two up. Uh, this time it's the two mutated creeps. So I know that it's going to be the two mutated Beowulfs at the end. Mutated Beowulfs are actually surprisingly easy to deal with, with Yang. Uh, you just have to do one shotgun and then they're effectively stunned. And then uh, if you do enough damage or enough hits, I should say, then it's going to retaliate. As soon as I beat the last enemy, I, uh, Left the level. And then there isn't really uh, much to say. Uh, the beginning we have to deal with uh, androids, but they're actually extremely easy. We, in fact, we don't even see them because Yang's ultimate uh, expands out that far. Uh, right here is a very difficult, it's deceivingly difficult uh, for the skip and it, it's made worse with the uh, Beowulfs that spawned. Uh, they made me stuck in place so I was afraid that I wasn't gonna get the skip but surprisingly enough I did and you see that you saw that I quickly opened up the menu so I could get rid of the audio bug. There was just two waves of Beowulfs that spawned Sometimes uh, there's a Alpha Bay Wolf that spawns at the end, but luckily it did not spawn, so uh, that's, that's what I consider a, a quick waves, where it doesn't spawn uh, uh, the Alpha Bay Wolf. So right here, uh, just a whole bunch of Beowulf spawn, and then it's going to be uh, these two Alpha Creeps and then an Ursa. This is a more desirable uh, one compared to the one where it's just a whole bunch of Creeps. Uh, and the camera is also pretty finicky. Uh, I got confused by it right there. And then right over here, I uh, unjam the tower and then we get plot so we have to wait a while before anything happens so I just go over to this rock and just sink my feet into it So yeah, we just have to wait for this uh, plot to get over. Just a lot of exposition. So right here, this is probably the worst wave possible. Uh, when it starts off with the Morpa Tusks. There's another one where it's, I believe, 12 uh, enemies where it's 4... Uh, it, it's four Beowulfs, then five Beowulfs, two Alpha Creeps, and then a, an Ursa. Uh, the best waves are when it's only six enemies, because that's uh, four Beowulfs and 
two alpha creeps. That's the quickest set of waves, and that's uh, what I got right here. This is the most desirable uh, waves that we want to get. It's very rare to get um, all six, or all four waves as those six enemies. You gotta be extremely lucky. I use my team attack on the alpha creep. Don't don't expect to see it too often because Yang's team attack is probably the worst in this game. Also, I accidentally messed up the strat, but there is a backup uh, for the alpha creeps. And then right here, uh, it's the Barbara Tusks, which is pretty awful, I'd say. I messed up the strat for the Barbara Tusk, but luckily it's not too difficult to uh, recover. I tried to use my ultimate right here so I could take out that creep, but that didn't really work out. That time I didn't leave right away. I had to wait to, until Merlot said something because for some reason the game is programmed on that level where once Merlot says something, that's when it is considered the end of the level. So right here, as usual, we're just uh, waiting for a plot to get over. Uh, Yang's just sitting in m mutated pool of whatever. So right here, this is probably the worst one uh, that we could get. Uh, where it's just all the creeps, because for some reason creeps take forever to spawn. And then we have to turn off that valve to proceed to the next area. And we just be hop over there. So this is one of the uh, better waves uh, to get, is when it's the uh, four Beowulfs and two mutate creeps. That's probably one of the faster, if not the fastest, uh, one that you can get. I think you get two androids, and I uh, believe that might be the fastest, I'm not 100% sure. So here I got uh, four Beowulfs and two androids. That's a pretty fast one. Um, it's the red androids, which are really nice. Uh, the worst ones are white androids. I don't think you can get white androids this early, but uh, in the next area you can get white androids, and white androids are the worst. But I'll talk about those when they come around. Right here, uh, just a whole bunch of creeps, and like I said before, creeps are awful. They take forever to spawn. I accidentally stepped into the uh, pool of whatever it is, but I used the uh, mutated creep to. <coughs> I used the damage, or I used uh, the mutated creep to damage boost myself to the uh, other creep. Just so I can get to uh, it faster and take it out. And right here, it's four bay wolves and then two androids. Usually, when it's a uh, six, that's what happens. Right here, I damage abuse so I can get my ultimate back. And it's the same as before. So I just do the same thing as I did on the uh, first wave. Here I was afraid if it was going to be <coughs> just two androids, because sometimes that can happen. But luckily it was the two mutated creeps and then the this mutated Beowulf. And then I damage abuse again so I can get ultimate back.
and then I just use a quick ultimate uh, so I can take care of that creep a little bit faster or mutate Beowulf. Right here, those are the white androids, but I had to uh, ultimate so I could quickly take care of them because I do not want to take care of, or I do not want to deal with them at all. And then as soon as I beat that last enemy, I load into the uh, next level. So right here, I got the best possible wave, but I messed up because I was a little bit too close to uh, an android. I was, I was uh, too close to the android that was in front of Yang, and uh, because uh, I did super quick, it, it knocked back the other android a little bit too far away, so uh, I had to... Uh, take care of it in a little slower fashion but it was still uh, pretty quick compared to other waves that could uh, happen so right here uh, I messed up on the Ursa combo but luckily it did another ground pound so I didn't have to worry about it too much And then that, uh, that's a pretty quick wave, honestly. So right here, um, there's that weird damage boost that I was talking about, uh, where you can just get launched. And I was able to get to those vats pretty quickly because of that. Right here, I use uh, two ultimates so I can quickly take care of those two vats. Uh, if I don't have ultimate, then it gets really awkward uh, on dealing with those vats. And then I just use my super quick to get rid of the remaining enemies. And then it was those four Babel, so then I know that it's going to be two androids that are going to spawn. Where? I don't know. I saw that they spawned right there, so I quickly use my two ultimates. And... Uh... Went to the next section. Or at least waited for me to go to the next section. So right here, I accidentally got uh, flung all the way over there, but it wasn't too terrible. So it was those far available, so I know that it's going to be two androids that spawn. It's always random where they spawn. Sometimes they can spawn real close to you or extremely far away. It's weird. So right here is another uh, quick little skip where we just jump over the steam. Uh, usually you'd have to go all the way around, but we do that instead. That's actually uh, de deceivingly scary because uh, if you land wrong, then you can get stuck in the steam and uh, falling animation, and you can just die instantly. And it's sad when that happens. So right here, I uh, gotta wait for something to upload I forget what it is but the upload progress is not uh, based on time it's the enemies that you defeat so the more enemies we defeat uh, the more the progress will fill up um, and depending on the enemies uh, they'll fill up more like these two androids uh, they filled up quite a bit of the progress bar so this is the last set of uh, enemies um, it's the worst possible set that you get, um, and this is the one that I dislike the most. Because a lot of things can go wrong with uh, the Mutate Beowulf running around in the background while you're trying to get rid of the white androids. You want to get rid of the white androids first because uh, they're the scariest. So right there, I defeat the Mutated Beowulf, and then instantly left and came back in. So 
filter right here. This is probably the worst uh, one that you could get. The best one is getting two red androids. But I was able to uh, take care of it fairly easy. Next is uh, we got to destroy the power nodes. And then after that, we have to defeat the uh, other enemies that spawn. So what I did is I did single attacks and because it was Beowulfs, I led them over here so I could take care of those four power nodes while also uh, taking care of the Beowulfs. And then there was those two androids that spawned and because I had the those two ultimates, uh, I was able to take care of them fairly easy. If I did not have any ultimate, what i do is I would uh, use the finisher for my... Finisher for my range attack. Right here I damage abuse so I'll, I can uh, damage the bat so I can take care of them a bit quicker. And right here I, I use two ultimates so I can take care of these four bats. And then I see that it's two androids so it's going to be these only two androids. I stun both of them and I deal with the white android first because I don't want anything to deal with him. And then we move on to the last section of the game where uh, it's I believe five waves of enemies and then it's going to be the final boss of this game which is the scariest thing ever and the most poorly designed enemy of this game known to man. So this is uh, probably the scariest wave that can happen uh, in this or in these waves because what can happen is you can get stunned by an alpha creep uh, and then get sniped by a grenade, which is the worst feeling ever because if you uh, if you use a super quick to attack enemies and they launch a grenade, then that grenade will explode from your super quake and you can die from it. Sometimes it's a one shot and it's super annoying. So right here, uh, I, I tried to uh, deal with the, I, I tried to deal with the white android, but uh, unfortunately that Ursa kind of messed things up. But I still focus on the white androids Thursa isn't really fast at all, so I don't really have to worry about it roaming around in the background, unlike the mutated Beowulf. Right here, it's similar to the first wave, uh, where it starts off with the uh, Beowulf, or mutated creeps, but it ends off with the mutated Beowulf instead. And then it ends off with another uh, mutated Beowulf. I wanted to save the two ultimates for the mutate Deathstalker. Um, it, it's it's only chip damage, but it's some form of damage at the beginning, so I do my best uh, with it. Uh, any form of damage to get this fight over quicker is nice because this is the worst most poorly designed fight in a video game ever also sometimes the attacks of the uh, mutated Beowulf can uh, get uh, the grenades to explode from the white androids which is another reason why this uh, area is so bad because all, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of white androids that like to spawn. That time I did run into a grenade on purpose so I can uh, damage boost. Also, the uh, mutate Beowulf is a team killer. 
And right here, I got really scared that I was going to die, so I just stayed on the outside of the uh, arena, so I didn't die. And lingering hitboxes are terrible. There have been multiple times I've died to a lingering hitbox. I saw that I was almost dead, so I tried to do another ultimate, but unfortunately there's just a sliver that uh, remained. So I just had to survive until then. Then I got my ultimate back. I saw that it slammed its tail, so I thought, this is my chance. So now we just have to wait for this uh, section to uh, get over. If I wanted to, I could uh, use Aftershock so I could clip myself through this um, door. However, that that's a lot more things to manage than you might think. Uh, because I need at least two ultimate uh, for the clip to work. If I don't, then uh, it won't work. And Super Quick does quite a bit more damage in comparison. But uh, that's the uh, end of the game. And my controller disconnected, which I'm extremely glad it happened at the end of the mission. Because... Uh, my controller has a tendency of disconnecting randomly. I don't know why. But that's, uh... Yang Inbounds. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you have any more questions, uh, you can contact me. Uh... On my Twitter. At my Discord. You know, they're on screen. Also in the description. So... Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And of course, have a good rest of your day. And I'll see you guys at SGDQ. Thanks for watching.